we rule the Sith. Here we will build a sovereignty of the dark side to overcome millennia of injustice. But I am the rightful ruler, but I alone possess the curiosity to translate their secrets and apply them to larger patterns of conquest. I foresee what will become a magnificent Sith Empire. While Corbus was the last battle of the Hundred Year Darkness, the conflict began with the most recent Great Schism. Historians squabble over how many such splits have occurred within Jedi ranks. I care not for the exact number, but with each one, the Jedi Council stranglehold on the ways of the Force weakened. The Hundred Year Darkness was a spectacular, yet predictable, revolt against a Jedi complacency. The Jedi Order has not evolved in nearly 20 millennia. Even after the Order's founding on Typhon, its most curious members realized the failings of their teachers, and so began the First Great Schism. In those days, a Kashimer outsider named Zendor inspired several Jedi to question the Light Side, or Ashla. They discovered the use of the Dark Side, or Burgan, unlocked the shackles their Jedi Masters had placed on the Force. Zendor's followers, those who believed as he did but lacked his abilities, became his acolytes, or the legions of Letao. Of course, the Jedi fought. They fought with desperation against a future in which they had no followers. History says that Zendor and his legions perished in the Battle of Columus, but that was not the tragedy of the First Great Schism. The tragedy was that the Jedi learned nothing. They could have embraced the Dark Side and become the central power of the Empire that the legions of Letao sought to build. Instead, they returned to their antiquated ways and alienated their most gifted members. We exiles are the heirs to Zendor's bold heresy.